Bonjour à tous and welcome to Learn French with Vincent. I hope you're ready because we will start right now. And we'll discover a quite important thing uh, because uh, it's a verb and uh, it's the verb être. Okay, être means to be. Okay, so as in many, many languages, uh, to be is quite useful uh, just for a um, well, simple reason. You tend to use it quite often and then we can use it to construct some composed tenses that we'll see a bit later, okay? So, let's see how it goes at the present form. Le verbe être first is je suis. Je suis, okay? Je, it's the pronoun personnel, so it's I, okay? Suis, I am, okay? Je suis, all right? And second person, tu es, okay? So remember, être is really tricky, especially when it comes to pronunciations, okay? So first one, suis, as you've been noticing, you don't pronounce the final S, okay? And for tu, then you've got this combination of letters, okay? But then, basically, the sound you will pronounce or you will produce is a, okay? Tu es, all right? Je suis, tu es. Okay, so let's see the next one. So you get this il, okay, so it's a capital letter, but then it's still it's i and then l, okay, il, so it's he, okay, masculine form, and then l, she, so feminine form, okay, and this is the verb. So il est, well then, l, a. So you can notice that even if we write them differently, this a like that and a like that, we, pr we pronounce them the, the same way. And that's usually the difficult thing, you know, with a f French language. Uh, what you write and what you pronounce can be quite different, okay? So remember, je suis, tu es, il est. A, L, A. Okay, so let's see how the next one comes. Here it's nu, nu. Okay, ah, sorry about that. Oops. <laughs> nu, sun. Okay, nu, sun. Okay, so you don't pronounce the final S here, it doesn't exist. Sun, nu, sun. Okay, then <laughs> the next one is coming. Vous êtes. Same thing here. Notice that final S is not pronounced. Et. Et. Okay. And then in French, we tend to have this liaison. So liaison, it's like a link, okay, that we can make between the words. So in that case, Vu is ending with S, and then you tend to make a little link between them. So, vous êtes. Z. It goes like that. Vous êtes. Okay? Vous êtes. Vous êtes. Alright, so let's see one more time. Je suis. Tu es. Il est. Elle est. Nous sommes. Vous êtes. Okay, and let's see the last one. Il, okay, so you can notice that even if you've got this S at the end, and then here you don't have anything, well, you pronounce them the same way, okay? Il, singular form, il, plural form, okay? Il, son, final T not pronounced, il, son, elle, son, okay? Il sont, elle sont. So let's see it again. Je suis, tu es, il est, elle est, nous sommes, vous êtes, ils sont, elles sont. All right. One more thing to notice because it's quite important. This vous form, okay, can be used for the plural, of course, and then it's the polite form that we use uh, if you meet someone for the first time. 
Uh, let's say it's uh, it's someone that you are uh, connected to uh, professionally or uh, it's well someone important or then well in that case or then you don't know this person uh, you should use definitely this vous okay uh, for the first time it's the polite form after that you can decide whether you want to use this tu form okay which is normally quite common in french but then first remember that vous is better okay let's see a few examples now Okay, first, I've been no, writing this uh, this question, so, quelle est votre nationalité? Okay, so, here to show you that it's here. Quel means what, a is, votre, your, so it's uh, according to, to this vous, okay, so the polite form of your, and then nationalité, nationality, okay, so let's repeat the question. Quelle est votre nationalité? All right. And in French, we tend to raise the voice at the end when we've got this little point d'interrogation. If it's a question, don't be afraid to go like Yoop! and raise a little bit at the end. Okay. So, quelle est votre nationalité? Okay. Quelle est votre nationalité? So if you want to present or to say uh, where you're from, okay? So we're using this être for that, you know, je suis, okay? So you get here, it's already, and then you put this français, français, okay? It's French. Je suis français. Je suis français. Okay? Then another example. Quel est votre nom de famille famille family nom name so nom de famille family name last name if you want okay quel it's still what okay in that case it's written like that so we will see that in a coming lesson but just to inform you that's the masculine form just because nom is masculine and here you've got the feminine form because nationalité is feminine okay but then we pronounce them the same way. So, quel est, what is, votre, your, nom de famille, so family name or last name. Okay, it's a question. Quel est votre nom de famille? Okay, so it's not the opera or uh, something that you want to sing. Okay, so just raise a little bit your voice at the, at the end of the, the question. Okay, so the answer, c'est le François. So it's interesting because you can see that we've got this C here and it doesn't show in the the, 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 the examples that we saw previously or for the, the, the conjugation just because it's S, well, basically you can you could translate it like it is or this is or yeah, it is, okay? C'est le François, okay? And the last one, quel est sa profession okay quelle est sa profession what is so être hein, same ça so it's her profession profession okay elle est directrice elle est directrice okay so she's a director and then it's the feminine form here